Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Kansas City's global community radio station, KUAW. We are so excited. You are tuned in to the PPP table, Purpose, Passion, and Power, and I've got some powerhouses at the table today. This is the, what Sunday is this? This is the first Sunday, Sunday. of March, and I'm so excited that we are kicking off International Women's Month here at the Purpose, Passion, and Power table with Jessica Lynn. I've got some powerhouses. I've got some community announcements. I want to say uh, there's so much going on in the community. Um, last night, I just said, you know what? We women, we just rock, period. <laughs> we are doing some phenomenal things. I mean, you cannot um, miss. If you get on social media, you're, you're, you're going to see this is happening, this is happening. Professional women, this. Professional women, women of color. It's, it's, we are just, we are killing it. Wouldn't you say? Oh, we kill it. <laughs> and I'm just so excited. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Jessica Lynn, the host of Purpose, Passion, and Power, and I'm excited to be here. I'm also the founder and president of Giving Hope and Help. And we're talking about giving hope all the time because that's one of the, one of our purposes is, is to give hope and give inspiration to other people. But I do want to say that I was just blown away uh, to share uh, on social media the, the video that I received yesterday from Girls in Africa. Did you see that? I did. did you see inspiring. that? Very inspirational. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. You know, um, wow. Uh, Light of Life Community Church, Pastor by... Uh, Jesse and Livietta Thomas partnered with us uh, to support girls in Africa. We have been supporting Smart Child Kenya Girls in Africa for, the, for three years. And so when I got this, this video from them last night saying, thank you, giving hope and help, and um, the verbiage saying, thank you, giving hope and help, and partners, meaning you all mm -hmm. who support us. <sighs> wow. You know, you just, you can't beat that. Because we're making a difference. We're making a difference um, in people's lives. And so I just want to share that the girls in Africa are suffering uh, more than we could ever imagine. And it's one of my passions to um, make sure that no female without period products must become a reality, period. Right. Mm -hmm. These girls, um, I don't know if you saw the pictures, but one of the girls was sitting on the dirt ground. Um, she was having to sit there um, because she was menstruating. Mm -hmm. And they have to dig a hole and sit on the hole uh, when they menstruate. And then there was another young lady on there. I didn't share, but I can share here. Uh, she um, is in stage one of cervical cancer, mm -hmm. just a child. And a lot of that comes from, you know, not having the, the, the hygiene. proper hygiene uh, products. And Beth is just a phenomenal uh, woman of God in Africa, and she pleads with me to have my sisters to pray for them all the time. And so I'm asking all of you who can hear me and who are tuned in to please pray for our sisters in not just Africa but all over the world that are suffering from this inhumane problem that we can fix, that we can fix. And so that's that's it on that. I thank everybody for helping us. There's more work to do. She She ended her post uh, saying uh, we need more help and of course they need more help we can't save the whole country but we can save one girl at a time and so we're going to do that and the girl said thank you giving hope for uh giving hope and help for helping us with sanitary towels they call them sanitary towels and uh panties and our education and the reason is because of their education is because because they have the products they can go to school so it's, it's a real problem that we're going to solve. And so I thank uh, Ms. Wachinda Pickens, who is a Difference Maker donor. I'm asking all of you all to be Difference Maker donors uh, just for a small amount of whatever you can a month. And it makes a difference. It, it makes a difference. So your money's help is helping the girls in Africa. Isn't that just amazing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's just amazing. So, yes. So we have our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, Miss Rochinda Pickens here today. This is Rochinda's third time on the show. 
she is a regular here and i just love having her on the show because she brings so much inspiration i'm not even going to introduce her i'm going to let her introduce herself because i love the way she does it i always put her on spot when when, she, when i'm with her do it do it Chenda, do it so yes yeah, so i'm going to let her introduce herself we also have the beautiful miss kelsey Thank kelly you, and i'm just so excited that uh she said yes to coming here, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, what? what? Just come on, because we're going to be talking about the Kept Woman of God Conference, yes. and so nobody can talk about it like you. Yes. We're also going to be talking about the prayer breakfast that's coming up at Kelsey's Church, Thank you. and yes. so we're going to be talking about some things um, that is inspiring and motivating uh, so we can continue to lift and build each other up. So Miss Chenda. Can I get your introduction, please? Yes, you can. Um, <laughs> hey, hey y'all. Look, I'm saying, hey, y'all. Um, this is Richard Pickens. I am the CEO and the founder of Kept Woman to God Ministry. I am the author of the national best-selling book, From Being Kept to Being Kept. I am a vessel being used by God. I am a wife. Mm -hmm. I am a nana. I'm a mother of three. I am who I am because God created me to be. I, I do it. not apologize for that, and I appreciate you having us here. I'm saying us because we mm -hmm. are coming to disrupt the atmosphere. Yes, love it. I love see, it. Y'all yes. see I'm in my fatigue. She right? ready. Yes, she ready. ready. On this ready. means war, baby. <laughs> this yes. means war, see? Oh, yeah. I love it. Thank you so much for saying Thank yes. You. We love you being here. I love what you do uh, for women. You are a powerhouse that's lifting each other, lifting us up, and I just love it. I Thank just you. absolutely love it. I can't wait to, to to attend the Kept Woman of God conference for the third year in a row. Third year. But this is the fifth this year the anniversary. Fifth year. Mm -hmm. Yes. The well, it's my year. third year going, the, so the, I'm the excited. Epic. We're going to we still standing. Yes. We're still yes. standing. Oh. Regardless of what we've been through. We're oh, still we here. Gonna, oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to show up and show out. It's going to be amazing. That's what we do. Going, going to, to be, be amazing. Epic. Yes. So, Miss Kelsey. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? I am fabulous. How are you? Good, good. I'm so glad. Isn't she just beautiful? <laughs> she is. Look. Oh, she's thank so you. Poised. She's so, yes. poised, so beautiful. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Miss Kelsey Kelly. Do your own introduction. Do I, I already own? posted it, but I want you to do your own introduction. Well, okay. Well, I am, my husband and I um, have a church in Lee Summit, Missouri. We're church planters. Mm -hmm. The name of that church is New Generation Christian Center. It's located at 800 Northwest Commerce Drive. And we have been in ministry leadership for 14 years now. Mm -hmm. And so through uh, New Generation Christian Center, I have grown leaps and bounds in my faith mm -hmm. and realized what my purpose and passion is, and that is to encourage women to live boldly and courageously for Christ. Mm -hmm. Not only encourage, but empower them. Mm -hmm. And to do it in a very real and transparent way. Amazing. You know, um, I'm grateful for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having us here. I also, this will be my second year mm -hmm. presenting at the Kept Woman of God Conference, yes. which is an amazing life transforming event. Yes. Um, I hadn't been able to attend in years past, but I followed Chenda on Facebook. So I, I knew it was a powerful conference. And when she gave me the opportunity last year, I was simply blown away not just to present but also the to get fed Amen. i mean the women on program the sisterhood the fellowship it's it's just spectacular awesome. and so um about me i love to be used by god to as i stated encourage and empower women to live boldly and courageously for christ i really do any way that he sees fit I am more than welcome to do just that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I do want to chime in. I know that you can't toot your own horn or you won't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I will tell you that um, the Kept Woman of God Conference um, is just, it is life changing. And I'm so excited. Last year, Kelsey killed it. <laughs> Yes, she did. And I, <laughs> you know, you, I, I put the whole thing on social media. Did. I, I didn't even you get did. her permission. <laughs> but this year she thanked me, and so I guess I was all right. Yes, <laughs> I did. But she did, and I still remember her mother said, what you going out of this house in? What you got on? What you get? Yes. You yes. know, what are you wearing? That's and right. so that is power mm -hmm. when a whole year later I can remember that. You know, Whose clothes are you wearing? Whose yeah, clothes are you? Clothes. Who clothes you got what on? do you have And on? so, 
Yes, and then Rochinda, she killed it as well because she spoke and shared her story, and so I'm just excited to be amongst the powerhouses. Mm -hmm. We have some people watching us. Hello, Suburban Balance, Angela D. Powell, Carletta Berry, Jam Cam Ed Eddins, <laughs> uh, Gail Jones Hannah. Amen. What a gift, a blessing. Yes, it is. Yes, Carlotta, enjoy your evening. We love you all uh, very much. And so thank you for tuning in. Listen, if you have any questions, post your questions. We'll be happy to answer them. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the Kept Woman of God conference is coming up. Yes. It's coming up soon. Chinda, tell us about the theme. Tell us the purpose. Uh, tell us what, what drove you to doing oh, this. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know where to start. You know, five years, five wow. years. The theme this year is called Epic. Mm -hmm. We are still standing. Mm -hmm. And the visual is a boxing ring. Mm -hmm. You know, we're getting in yeah. the ring. Mm -hmm. We are getting in the ring. We are going to disrupt the atmosphere mm -hmm. God's way. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, every year we change our theme. And we're praying and praying, trying to decide what that theme is going to be. Mm -hmm. And so the first year was... Um, the Great Balancing Act. Mm -hmm. Then we did We're Taking Flight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we did Mission Possible, mm -hmm. Release and Reset. Reset. So year. now mm -hmm. it's like we want everyone to know we're still standing. Mm. And so That's these awesome. sisters, we let me tell y'all who we got. <laughs> Do I have time to tell y'all who we oh, got? Oh, yes, ma'am. Let me tell y'all. The, the conference is going to kick off mm -hmm. on Friday. And we have Estelle Brooks. She is fit mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's going to get us in shape that mm -hmm. Saturday morning. In one night, that's going to be powerful. Oh I know my, I'm going to be there. Oh, my God. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all know Excited, we got we to be in shape. Yes. yes. To know, fight. To fight. Y'all seen that we've been running Definitely. on the treadmill, mm -hmm. sucking it all in, but we ready. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we have a Wendy Barnes coming in from Chicago, okay. Illinois. Mm -hmm. And we have Carlotta Berry. And, and Carlotta Berry is my sister, your twin sister, sister. Oh, yes. <laughs> my sister. And you know the titles; they are amazing. And mm. we have Kelsey Kelly sitting right next to me. Yeah. Mm. I am so she, excited. She's gonna surprise some folks. I love <laughs> it. We have Lanessa Frazier yes. coming in from Topeka, Kansas. Yes, love I'm her. looking at my list to make she sure I amazing. got right. everybody. Fix your crown. Yes. Oh, girl, you know I bought the crown too. Oh, you sh yeah, it doesn't go well with the head gear, but <laughs> we'll take some pictures with it. Yes, we have Andrea Mayberry. She's coming in from New Jersey. These sisters are flying in wow. mm. because the thing about it is all of us have a common denominator, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. our father. Yes. Because, see, sometimes that's people right. look at you, and they don't have any idea what you have been through. Come on. Yeah. And we're yeah. going to show the story and mm -hmm. say we still we still right. stand it. And we're yeah. going to tag team each other. So mm -hmm. when I get ready to go down, you're going to be ready to pick me up, that's right? right? I that's love right. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have Rihanna Sanford. <laughs> Rihanna Sanford is coming in from Olathe, Kansas. Leah McIntosh from yes. the Summit. Love that Leah, little powerhouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. The warrior chick. Yes. I still remember her chick. pivot to purpose yes. last year. Yes. 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 We have Charity Goodwin coming in from Columbia, Missouri. Mm -hmm. We have Sharon Sykes from Chicago. Mm -hmm. We have Terrilyn Singler Singler too from Jacksonville, Miss No, Jacksonville, Florida. Florida. Mm -hmm. okay. Who else do I have? That's it. Twelve of us. And we us. have you. Yes. And we have you. me. The yes. founder. Don't count. Don't count me out. Don't count me now, out. Now we nice. do have a special guest. She's coming in on Thursday because we're doing the VIP. Mm -hmm. okay. And her name is Karen Griffin. Okay. So she will be down at the Black Archives. Okay. So y'all. Well, I will be there wow. on yes. Thursday. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, you will be there. I will be there on Friday. You'll be there, be there. yes, ma'am. You'll be there Thursday? Yes. yes she I will. So we'll all mm -hmm. be there Thursday. We'll be mm -hmm. there Friday. And we will be there Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, is it too late for them to join us on Thursday? Well, no, they, I think it's probably like 10 seats left. Okay. They have to go in and they have to register at, at www.keptwomanofgod.com. Mm -hmm. And the registration is going to shut down next week. Next okay. week. Okay. Next so week. registration is going to shut down next week. So I need you to go to keptwomanofgod.com yes. and register. It is going to be epic. Oh my God. We are going to be in the ring. I love this. You got to fight for your right. Mm -hmm. We're going to yes. be fighting for our right yes, to stay set free. Yes, ma'am. To release. If we might need to reset again. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Come on. We might need to 
reincorporate and re bring that up that mission is still possible. Absolutely. Now I, I got two or three of the titles. I can't go back no further than that. You know what? I, oh, <laughs> oh, I, I, I forgot to share this. We uh -huh. also have a fashion show. Okay. Tony Walker. Okay. She is putting on. Oh a yeah, her amazing. survivors. Yes. Her survivors. Yes. I am a survivor, so mm -hmm. there oh, will be sisters be so awesome. yes. that will showcase. You know, you look. Sometimes you think a fashion show, and you think we're talking about clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we're talking about our heart and your our heart, soul. Your heart and your soul. So, uh, wow. Oh yeah. Well, I, I do have to add this little component to it because I, I'm always challenging women when they when they have events. Right. Mm -hmm. To add a giving component to it. Yes. And kept woman of God, Rochinda Pickens is a a uh, pillar uh, and a donor to Giving Help and Help, and she supports with mm -hmm. the conference. And I just love it. And I was supposed to bring the bag tonight. And Have the you set. seen the bag? I've it is, it the is bag. so no. cute. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it. It is a, uh, it's a two-piece. It's actually not even a two-piece, but it's two separate pieces that I'm making a set. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the steel blue, brand new Dunia Burke, pebble grain leather, all, oh. all weather you leather. always have such nice bags. I mean. I'm a, I'm, I love, that's my thing. Yes. Purses, prayers, and, 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 and passion. So mm -hmm. that's coming. Something's coming with that. <laughs> but anyway. Purpose, the, prayer, and purses yes yes <laughs> okay. yes you, you what's in your purse what's in your purse I what's was in just your purse yes say that. That's good. and so uh i think this is the third year that we have done a dooney burke uh set and it's always so fun it's mm -hmm. always yeah, so fun it is. uh and so what we're doing with that is we're going to do a raffle and so the ladies can make a donation mm -hmm. to get in the raffle but oftentimes the ladies are just making the donation because they want to support the cause. The causes right. are education is your passport scholarship program. Right. And so what the program is, it is uh, we have three different scholarships. One is our scholarship for high school seniors that are going to a college of their choice. Okay. okay. They're going to receive a brand new laptop in the box, uh, bed in a bag set for their dormitory, matching stuff. On moving day, they can feel just as great as everybody else. Right. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to a college move-in day, but that is a big deal. Yes. Uh, you see all of the girls with the matching you mm -hmm. know, comforter sets, mm -hmm. and they got their little lamp, everything matches. So, And then they will have a backpack, a collegiate backpack, filled with everything they need in it to get started. Inspirational items, we provide uh, toiletries for the girls throughout their college career. Oh, nice. uh, they just Very need to nice. let us know when they run out. And so uh, that is one scholarship. That's our inaugural scholarship. Also, our, um, we have a scholarship in my grandparents' honor, uh, two $500 cash scholarships. Both of you have been at the programs. Mm -hmm, you've seen it. Mm -hmm. And we also, again, for the second year in a row, have 10 full ride scholarships to give away. Awesome. Wonderful. 10 Wonderful. full rides. 10. That's 10 full rides. And wow. those full rides are going to benefit se high school seniors that would like to go to Penn Valley or Maple Woods or single parents, single parents that have never been to college. Mm, wow. Now, that is amazing. That's what huge. we're trying to do is we're trying to change the trajectory, trajectory of their life. Yes, yes. Uh, pull them out of the welfare. Right. Uh, this is a perfect scholarship for a, a mom or a dad right. who is on uh, welfare mm -hmm. or who is low income because they're required to go full time. Right. Okay. And maybe they can go at night. I don't know what they're, what they're, uh, what their schedule is, but whatever it is, they have to go full time and they will have two years paid in full. Awesome. And you That's can't wonderful. beat that. You really mm -hmm. just can't beat that. that. And so uh, I thank you, Miss Miss Chenda, for supporting us in that. Yeah. The first program you came to was two years ago mm -hmm. and you've been supporting us since that night. So I don't know yeah. what happened with you, but you have stayed and you've stuck. You know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I'm seeing a difference, you know, Amen. seeing Amen. a difference. And and when you sow into a ministry and you see the yeah. fruits, you keep sowing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. That's so. good. That's so true. Very yeah. true. That's so true. Very true. That's so true. Oh, yeah. Well, we, well, you're going to keep sowing because God is, he's, he's, he is, I mean, he is, he is making this thing happen. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. so I'm just thankful for that. Miss Kelsey is also a supporter. Yes, yes ma'am. We have supported and we want to continue to do so. Just amazing. We really do. We had you in January yes. at one of our women's workshops and your presentation about period poverty just blew the women away. Wow. Um, it's amazing how detached mm -hmm. when you have 
resources mm -hmm. that you are from that kind of truth mm -hmm. right. and so when you start hearing that girls can't go to school mm. because they can't take care of what's happening to them naturally right. mm. it it does something. it does something mm -hmm. to you it really does and so uh, the women were very inspired mm -hmm. by your passion mm -hmm. and we definitely want to continue to support you Praise and God. so um, I know you mentioned that you have supporting um, initiatives mm -hmm. that are ongoing mm -hmm. and would love to be able to promote that mm -hmm. and, and through my women's ministry yes. so that we can get some of these ladies on board. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'd love it. And that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. That's what these women's conferences are for is to catapult the purpose that's inside of you. Yes. Right. To, yes. For you to start writing that book that's inside of you. Mm -hmm. I asked a young lady the other day, I said, um, so when's your book coming out? She says, what do you mean? How you know? I said, well, I know because everybody's got a book in them. And she's actually already writing her book. She said, wow. well, my second book is coming out. I didn't even know she had one. Mm -hmm. And so speaking of books, we're going to talk a little bit about from kept. Oh, from being kept. kept to being kept. Mm -hmm. Yes. National bestseller book mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and picking up the pieces. Mm -hmm. And you know what the interesting thing about these books is um, I did not plan to write a book mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was from that first conference. Mm -hmm. Um, being obedient to God, saying, look, you're going to share your story mm -hmm. and you're going to put it out there. Mm -hmm. I didn't write the book until a year later. Mm -hmm. mm. Was not planning for it to be national bestseller, none of that. Mm -hmm. You know, my, for me, I'm just doing what God has told me to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times people will say, well, you don't share and you don't talk about that. And I felt like I shouldn't have to keep sharing. When I walk through that door, you will see God in me, not by me telling you this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So um, I am an author, national bestselling author. Well, that's in and, your that's in your introduction. Absolutely. So you do keep telling oh, us, yeah, and you I, need I to keep telling over us. and over. That's and why over. those McDonald's commercials <laughs> keep going over and over and over. They want you to go to go get go through the drive through, but we want you we want you to get these books. Absolutely. So how do they get the books? They can get the books by going to the um, website www.keptwomanofgod.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the thing about it is, when they purchase these books on the website, mm -hmm. we donate money to Kept Woman of God because mm -hmm. it is a five hundred one c three, and that allows us to give back to the community. We help any goes elementary mm -hmm. we go into the community and we serve and the thing about it is we don't always tell folks what we're doing mm -hmm. but they'll see our t-shirt oh mm -hmm. yeah kept one the guy because i tell them i said kept one the guy is the ministry mm -hmm. that is for us to connect the women with who they need to be connected to so when we you see us all together at the conference, it's not about one person. Mm -hmm. It's about my sisters. Yes. So we bring them together so the women can come mm -hmm. and get what they need from the Kelsey's, mm -hmm. from the Lanessa's, mm -hmm. from the Carlotta's, mm -hmm. from the Leah's, mm -hmm. the Shannon's, yes. Charity, mm -hmm. you know, from mm -hmm. Jessica. Mm -hmm. So um, I call myself the connector. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. The connector. Yeah, you're connected. You know, it's, it's not about me. Dots. I'm That's in an organization, and this tagline is connecting the dots to change the world. Mm. Yes. And that's exactly what is happening here with what you're doing with these conferences because there are connections being made, not only with the speakers, right. but I've right. made connections at your conference with people just in the audience. And we've right. been, yes. you know, we've stayed, yes. you know, and right. we see each other from time to time, and it's a, just a wonderful embrace because I met you it's at the close. Kept Woman of God conference. It's mm -hmm. like a club. Yes. I, I've, uh -huh. I've run into several women from conference last year, and it's like we have something. We have yeah. something special going mm -hmm. from being in attendance. Mm -hmm. It is yes. It's powerful. And um, to be in that environment mm -hmm. where women are coming together for the sole purpose of celebrating each other yes. and celebrating their faith mm -hmm. with yeah. each other, I mean, it is it is freeing when you walk in the door. It really yeah. is, and so uh, to be able to have that to share in your platform is is amazing. And then one thing I want to share with you real quickly, if I can, yes, you can. is is can, you have to continue to share your story. I'm mm -hmm. so glad that you've written your books because the, the Bible says mm -hmm. we overcome mm -hmm. by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Okay. Those two things working together in tandem. You've mm. got a, a, an amazing story. I've mm -hmm. sat down and, and visited with you uh -huh. personally. Mm -hmm. And so the world needs to know, you Amen. know, the world needs to know. And so I, I appreciate, you know, how you how you've shared it, you know, with Thank me you. and how you're continuing to share it on the platform. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and I share it. I share it a lot, but I normally do it in the coaching mm -hmm. session. Mm -hmm. So normally mm -hmm. at the conference, you probably don't get all of that. So away from the conference, 
folks probably get more. Yeah. You know, yeah. because my brain is not focusing on the planning of the conference. So mm -hmm. when I'm away from home, mm -hmm. then it's strictly right. You know, this is. I just love it, um, girl. I I just keep saying, Lord, really, really. Uh, He's like, oh yeah, y'all gonna do it together, mm -hmm. and you got sisters that's gonna say yes and go with you, mm -hmm. so the other sisters can get what they need. So this is a little bit off script. Okay. okay? I know that you don't share a lot of what's in your book, mm -hmm. but I want to ask both of you um, a transparent question, mm -hmm. and I want you to give the women who are tuned in some real talk. So you have been in ministry for 14 years. Yes, ma'am. Before that, God has bought you from a lot. Yes, a And so way. in a nutshell, let's talk to the single mother. Let's mm. talk to the uh, mother that uh, didn't think that she would have a father figure for her son or for her daughter. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. talk about what God did for you. Okay. Well, you know my background. Yes. And so um, I always say if you could talk to the 25-year-old Kelsey, she would say that this Kelsey today would not exist. Mm -hmm. From that Kelsey would not come this Kelsey. She just wouldn't even be able to see it. But God knew differently. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I came to Christ late in life, or actually in my late 20s. And um, it was through the relationship of me and my husband, dating and getting married. And uh, we started the ministry. And um, God knew I needed that to happen mm -hmm. in order to grow, mm -hmm. to become the person I am today that would sustain me through some of life's difficulties. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said, the 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 um, issue of being a single mother, you know, of a child that's been abandoned because that's basically what it is when a father walks away and mm -hmm. says, I'm not, I don't wanna be a part of this situation, you know, um, and, ha and not coming from that background. My parents were married 48 years before my dad was called home. Mm -hmm. And so I don't, I didn't have any I didn't have anything know to, how. yeah, any know-how, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I wasn't familiar with what it was going to take mm -hmm. to to be both parents, mm -hmm. right. you know, um, but I went forward mm -hmm. and worked hard, and God brought someone into my life mm -hmm. to not just be a father to my son, but to be a husband to me and to lead me to Christ. Amen. Amen. And so um, that's my story in, in, in a nutshell. And we, like you said, we all have a book. We yeah. do mm -hmm. because um, there there are some things that I do need to share mm -hmm. to encourage women who don't believe that they can get to this place. Mm -hmm. You know, I get often, um, you, you're, you know, you're a first lady and you weren't, you weren't born and raised in church. Mm -hmm. God, he equips the called. I, I am that person who, yeah. I, that's my testimony, I can tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, you think you don't know scripture, you mm -hmm. think you don't know the truth of the word, you think that you are uh, detached and unfamiliar mm -hmm. with faith. If you give, he gives. Absolutely. And I'm here to tell you that um, there is no better give, giving to do. Oh yes, yes, Absolutely. you take one step, he takes two, the word is clear. You know, if you draw nigh to him, that he'll draw nigh unto you. And I believe that drawing, as I just stated, is it isn't just my one step towards him and he takes one step towards me. I believe it's my one step towards him. And then he jumps forward Absolutely. towards mm -hmm. me. He mm -hmm. moves with aggression, intention, stri strategically. You know, God wants to be mm -hmm. a part of our lives. He wants to have ownership of our hearts. Yes. And so when we show interest, He's pleased. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. He's overjoyed and and he moves purposefully. Mm, you yeah. know, he he says, My daughter, my baby girl. Mm. Uh -huh. You know, she she's interested. And then he begins to do the equipping, mm. you oh, know, yeah. and giving you the knowledge and doing the preparation. And so um I do have a, a long story, but and I know mm -hmm. you've got something to share, so I'll just Oh, we've got good. another twenty eight. <laughs> we've got <minutes. laughs> we're good. Yeah. <laughs> This, this is your show. You are at the PPP table. So mm -hmm. go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Share well, your well, story. I, well, I, I gave you some of it. Like yeah. I said mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, my husband always says, and it is the truth, I don't look like what I've been through. Amen. I'll just put it like that. Amen. I don't you know look he's like a keeper. It. Oh, my goodness. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. A provider, a yes. deliverer, Thank a promoter. Mm. We could go on. A baker. Uh, <laughs> yes, he's a mind regulator. He's a mind regulator. Just, just, yes. just uh, 
yeah. less than an hour before we got here. Um, Won't he do everything it? Everything was going on in my mind and in my uh -huh. heart, and mm -hmm. I had to keep it from pumping so fast, and I had to, you know, I had to, okay, God, we it's, we got to roll. Yes. You've equipped me to handle every situation. Mm -hmm. Right. And so um, I was told to stop the show, to cancel today. And I said, no, I'm not going to cancel the show because mm -hmm. God's got it. He's got yeah. it. And then and you got your peace. And sometimes we have to take our hands off of it, sis. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't we have to take our hands yes, off of it? Because when we, when we try to put our hands in it, we always mess up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We always mess mm -hmm. up. You know how you, you when you used to color? And you have used to try to stay in the line. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we when we get our hands in, we be all outside the line in God's <laughs> lane. Mm -hmm. This is His lane. Yes. And one of the things that God gave me when I spoke at your um, women's workshop it was, was stay in the line, stay in your chosen stay, lane. Yes. Uh -huh. First weekend of January. Mm -hmm. Stay in your lane. Mm -hmm. And everything that you've gone through is for purpose. Everything. Right? Purpose. And it's not just for you. Come on. It's it, it's for somebody else. You get the benefit. But we are to share. Mm. When when we come through, we're to reach back and grab somebody else grab and bring them forward. You Amen. know, and to let the next sister know. I know I look like something different today, but I can relate to what you're going through. Come on. Been a single mother. Mm -hmm. You know, had had to, to fight in my marriage. Come you on. know. And and I, I probably should correct that because everybody maybe We understand. understand. Exactly. We can fix it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You 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 have to marriage is hard work. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And people mm -hmm. just see what's on social media and mm -hmm. they think my they have our, no our idea. sermon today yeah. at church was about <laughs> social media. You just dressing up for social media. That's it. Uh, mm -hmm. Stop trying to be so on. Yeah. Stop trying to be on. You know, mm -hmm. they not telling you about what happened last night or right. something. You know, un uh, real cut stuff. Yes. And so, um, it, it it is amazing what we can go through. And, and God you share that. You yeah. share that at, in a January workshop that. Yeah. You know, we see the we see the pretty Jessica, the hair, the nails, the makeup. You got in the car today, and you see you look so pretty. I said, "Him, you like, you have no idea what I've just been through," but that's what God does. Yes. He keeps us, mm -hmm. doesn't He? Do mm -hmm. it. Yep. He is so amazing. He's so amazing. And so, as we're sitting here at the table, I'm thinking that we've all been a single mother at one point. Oh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, and God has brought us through. And for me, one of the things was, I'm not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about you. Um. <laughs> Okay. We're going to talk about you. Wow. You what don't you, have to tell it all. But when I was reading from being kept to being kept, I said, now, what does this title mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wow. That's my word. Yeah. 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 And, wow. and the thing about it is from being kept to being kept. Yes. That's where I was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea that I was caught by the wrong strongholds mm -hmm. because what happens is we just going through life mm -hmm. some might say we just chilling mm -hmm. yeah. we just sitting mm -hmm. and it took me to go through a tragic car accident mm -hmm. for God to break me all the way down mm -hmm. to build me back up but mm -hmm. before he could build me back up I had to revisit my past mm -hmm. I had to revisit why Richenda did certain things yeah why she was caught up by certain things so when you hear me talk about being my authentic self mm -hmm. that's all i know how to be mm -hmm. gotcha because there's a lot of women and i'm gonna say women because that's who i address mm -hmm. there's a lot of women that's walking around with masks on their face mm -hmm. and the thing is i can recognize that mm -hmm. because i was that woman mm -hmm. because when we don't realize that we're broken mm -hmm. we're just moving mm -hmm. we just moving through it to the mm -hmm. point where you're like I'm okay. And then God said, no, you ain't okay. Mm -hmm. I've been tapping you on the shoulder for years, but you ain't paid attention. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get your attention. Mm -hmm. So broke me down, mm -hmm. build me back up. Mm -hmm. So I know about being a single mom. Mm -hmm. I know about being a widow. I know mm -hmm. about being broke. I know about a negative mm -hmm. checking account. Yes. I know about being talked about, being bullied. I know about being remarried. I know about being divorced. Some mm -hmm. folks didn't realize that I was married mm -hmm. to my first husband and we re we divorced for four years mm -hmm. to get back together. But see, the purpose of that divorce was so he could have eternal life. Oh, oh man. See, Ooh, wow. I, just, I tell everybody, <laughs> I, I said, wow. you know, yeah, it, it was no accident yeah. of why we went through what we went through mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. December 22nd, 07. It was mm -hmm. no accident of the death mm -hmm. because, see, he had to die mm -hmm. 
yeah. in order yeah. for him yeah. to live eternally mm. and yes. for me to be able to do what I do mm-hmm. in my mm-hmm. authentic self, not afraid of mm-hmm. who's listening, who's going to say who's this. Who's going to say? I'm like, look, this is me. Yeah. I don't know how to do anything but be me. I love mm-hmm. that. Authentic. authentic. That's why I say, we, girl, we're going to disrupt mm-hmm. the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. And when you do it God's way, it ain't no mistake. You don't care who's going to get mad. Yeah. You're like, oh, no, yeah. God got this. Now, if you've just heard these two <laughs> powerhouses speak what they just did. Okay, did you hear that? So, you got your tickets for the Cap Woman God Conference. You going to be at the Cap Woman God Conference? Girl. Be there. I'm going to be at the Cap Woman God You going to be at the Cap Woman God Conference? I'm going to be there. I'm okay. going to be there. She's going to be there. Now, that is April the 3rd. Yes, April the 3rd and the 4th. At April 3rd and 4th. We will be there. Yes. Then we got in May. Tell us about May. May second. May second. I already got my ticket. Got I told. Ticket? I was told my ticket was at Will Call already waiting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Right. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It is our. Um, oh, excuse me. It is our fourth annual. Mm-hmm. This means we're prayer breakfast. Mm-hmm. And so the premise of our prayer breakfast is bringing women together to encourage them to fight. Mm-hmm. for their freedom, yes. fight for their truth, fight for their faith, to help them to understand. You know, a lot of times we can get it confused and, mm-hmm. and kind of get made up in our minds that our faith is all about um, the niceties. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The yeah. material things. And and not that we don't deserve those things, mm-hmm. you know, and mm-hmm. I don't I don't negate that. I'm, I'm blessed, mm-hmm. and I thank God for my blessings. Mm-hmm. But even in my blessed state, my enemy is still trying to take me out. Oh, Hell yeah. Girl. And so mm-hmm. we cannot confuse being in a blessed state mm-hmm. with being in a protected state. Right. We have to be on our P's and mm-hmm. Q's. We got to be prayed up, faithed up, served up. Mm-hmm. Covered That's up. A, covered <laughs> up. Yes, ma'am. And, and service is a, is a mm-hmm. huge passion of mine because armored I have a, a, a armored up, a, mm-hmm. a true to life karate kid story mm-hmm. in the church whereby I'm working and not seeing how my service is building me up in faith and preparing me for the attack. Mm-hmm. And so um, at the um, This Means War prayer breakfast, we talk about who that enemy is and that he has one job. The Bible is clear. First Peter 5, 8, I believe it says that he is roaming around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He is not playing. All right. He's looking for you to be off your game. Mm. And so uh, who will be with us on that Saturday? And we're there from 830 a.m. to 1230 p.m. It's four fabulous hours. The The environment is charged with women who have come prepared to receive their promotion, Mm, to celebrate one another in the faith and to celebrate our God Mm -hmm. and our risen Savior. It is an amazing event. And uh, this year we have with us uh, again. Uh, Pastor Deidre Johnson Dixon, love her from Refiners <laughs> Fire. Yes, she is. She oh, she did an outstanding job last year. She's back mm-hmm. with us again this year. And then we also have Elder uh, Calandra Sumter from phenomenal. Memorial. Love yes, phenomenal okay. speaker. And so these ladies are prepared to talk about your identity mm. in Christ and how the enemy wants to steal that from you. Yes, do. Yeah. do you know how compromised you are in this battle when mm. you don't know who you are mm. and whose you are? Mm. And so when we know, the Bible says that he stands as an accuser of the brethren. Mm-hmm. And what he stands accusing you of is that your faith is fake. Right. Your faith is based <laughs> on material things, mm-hmm. the things that you have, mm-hmm. the money in the bank, the clothes you wear, the hair, the nails, that type of thing. Mm-hmm. That's what he stands accusing you of. He says, if you don't have those things, what you got? You ain't got nothing. What you'll do is is yeah. like Job's wife said, what you'll do is you'll curse God and die. That's what, what right. he that's what he says of you. Well, we're here to call him a liar. Amen. Let him I know our faith. We still standing. We Absolutely. still standing. <laughs> yes. yes. So we want to remind these ladies that there are all types of attacks, but this identity attack is real. It is. And yeah. we need for you to know going into the battle who, who you, you are, are and whose you are well let me say this sis i was at the very first Mm -hmm. prayer breakfast in 2017 really yes ma'am and i still have the program 
I still have all of that in my Bible. Mm-hmm. I can tell you Trina Crawford spoke. Yes. I can tell you Valerie Cobbins spoke. Yes. And I can tell you you spoke. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know any of you. Really? But what you did and what you said mm-hmm. stuck with me. And I still have the bookmark in my Bible. Wow. And the, that uh, and the uh, little program, mm-hmm. what, what happened that day. I wasn't able to make it to the last few, but I always made a donation. And yes. I will be there this year. Well, I can't yes. wait and to I have And I am so you. excited. I re- That's the first time I ever saw you. Oh, yes, wow. really? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yes, and you were cute with your army pants on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, I came to that. I've been to the first one. I think. So I we were the, there at the first one. Was there, I've been there twice. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I remember the army, and mm-hmm. I just That's remember. Our same thing. So is that what we're doing this year? Because I, yes. I need to get my gear there ready. You go. Yes, there you go. Yes, we are doing <laughs> need our to get me some fatigues. It's a it's a casual environment. There's a breakfast, there's praise and worship. And now like I said, this is our fourth annual year and we have okay. women that as soon as they come in, they are ready to see our women's choir sing This Means War. Our yes. praise and worship yes. leader. Oh my gosh. She's amazing. She's she, phenomenal. Trish Jenkins, she is amazing. And, and that's so, Charles Jenkins who sings a song. Isn't that amazing? Is it really? Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't think I knew that. Uh-huh. Yeah. I tell her all the time when I hear the real people singing, I'm like, they can't do it like you, sis. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, I'm just excited about what you guys are doing, uh, uplifting women. I-, I just love that you're ministering outside of the four walls. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely. Yes. Isn't definitely. that amazing? Yeah, that right there for me. Kevin Woman of God is a mobile ministry, mm-hmm. and I tell people all the time, it doesn't belong to no one church, mm-hmm. no denomination. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's about women everywhere. everywhere. That's you know? what I love. So mobile means we go. Mm-hmm. We go, mm-hmm. we serve, mm-hmm. we connect. It's mm-hmm. like, well, is it a particular group? No, no, no. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All are welcome. Come on in here. Yeah. All are welcome. Oh, yeah. I love so that. I, I love it. Mm-hmm. It's like, Lord, really? I'm like, you want me to go? Yep. Yeah. Because see, the thing about it is, I surrendered. Mm-hmm. When you surrender all that stuff mm-hmm. over, you don't have and to you worry say, about it. God, use me. Mm-hmm. Use I didn't me, say yes. use me when it's comfortable. I say mm-hmm. use me. And He will put you and to the he test. He has put me to places, and I'm sitting there like, really, Lord? And I just go. I can't believe you're in town now. Well, you know Doesn't why I'm in town? Because I got a wedding. My daughter's getting married. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, so we got the conference in April and the, and the wedding? wedding in May. Wow. And so, where is the wedding? Here in Kansas City. Oh, good. Here in good, Kansas City. Good, good. So and that is just amazing. That's she why looks I'm in just town. like your sister. It's crazy. Everybody you and your sister. That last year when I met her. That's when I thing. saw her, I was like, oh, that's Carlotta's daughter. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. They tell me that all the time. And sometimes they tell Carlotta, they're like, is that your mom thinking that I'm Carlotta's mother? I'm like, really? No, no, y'all kind of look more like twins to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. I had people say, that's your daughter. And I was like, yeah, because they think she is Andrea, uh-huh. oh, the baby girl. Okay. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it's all good. I tell people, I'm like, yeah, that's that's my daughter right there. I love it. So, I just yeah. love what you guys are doing. I'm excited. What else do you have going on? Well, right now, that is, uh, that's the biggest thing right now. Mm-hmm. We also, our women's ministry meets once a month on Saturday morning. Yes. We yes. have a women's workshop. Uh, you came and spoke mm-hmm. in January along with a good girlfriend of mine, Minister uh, Robin Wilson. Mm-hmm. And I think that was the first time you got a chance to meet Robin, but you had to have I've something in common. And, well, yeah, she goes to my um, family's church. Mm-hmm. And I kept, look, I said, that couldn't be her. But yes, it was. It was her. And so. She just, she's a beautiful, she wonderful, is. wonderful woman. Of she God. is. Just she wonderful, is. wonderful. So how can they, what, what, what time are your church services? Tell us a little bit about your week, weekday services, midweek. Our midweek services are on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. And that is at our church mm-hmm. in, in um, Lee Summit, Missouri. Again, mm-hmm. that's 800 Northwest Commerce Drive. Mm-hmm. And then we meet on, and it's casual. Mm-hmm. Bible study is very casual. Um, it's amazing study time, questions, answer, discussions. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, my brother-in-law, Don Kelly, is our Minister of Christian Education, mm-hmm. and he is the one that teaches our Bible study. And mm-hmm. so he's on fire and excited for the Lord and excited to share the wisdom that he's gained uh, to impart unto us, you know. And it. so um, I- anybody's welcome. Yeah. And then we have uh, traditional church services on Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. We meet at 10 a.m. It's a come-as-you-are environment i know i have on my dress today uh because i dress casual every day for work okay. so the only time i get to dress up is on sunday <laughs> is on sunday uh-huh. so uh-huh. Uh-huh. um i will be dressed up but 
no one else has to, okay. you know. Um, and we start at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And it is an awesome worship experience. Uh, one thing I can say about New Generation, not because it's my church, it's this the truth of it, that it is a loving body of believers, a healthy body of believers that are, are bound together by the Christ that exists within us, mm -hmm. you know, and our shepherd, which is my husband, Pastor mm -hmm. Ron Kelly, he can preach and teach that word. So real and so transparent, fun and exciting. We have a good time at church. We, we really do. We have an awesome time. And I think you haven't had a chance to visit, but Rich has visited. Yeah, Rich has visited. Lady yes, time. yes. And so um, we have a children's ministry as well. So we have something for the little ones, mm -hmm. something for the teens. Uh, the women's ministry happens to be under my leadership, um, and that's just an awesome and amazing blessing. That's another thing that, like I said, I, I, I never would have thought I was going to be a first lady, let alone when we first started the ministry. I thought my sole purpose was to come and worship uh -huh. and then be a supporter to my husband. Um, and uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's what I'm there to do. You know what I mean? I'm going to, I'm going to get something. Um, and then whatever my husband needs me to do to undergird him in, in the destiny that God has called him into. And, um, a, a neighbor of ours was a member and she kept saying to me, we need something for the women. We need something for the women. I mean, she just kept at it. Well, like I said, I wasn't raised in church. So, that's so you was asking, like, what do I need to do? <laughs> what do I need to do? She said, and then she suggested we'd have a, a women's Bible study. And I said, okay, well, who's going to lead that? <laughs> Uh, you're the first lady. <laughs> yeah. She, and so, like I said, we're church plants, so we didn't uh -huh. have very many members at that point. And she said, well, I think that you can do it. Mm. I said, well, okay. I prayed about it, and, and God reassured me that he did not give me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Uh -huh. um, I have a passion for the truth of God's word. I really do. And so um, he equips. Yes. Oh. He equips, and that birthed our women's ministry which is uh, the name of our women's ministry is women of worship you know for sh short is wow mm -hmm. um and My we word. have been meeting <laughs> yes. oh yeah <laughs> your word wow mm -hmm. and we have been studying together for 14 years now isn't that amazing yes. they, they yes. are amazing because you have like 28 of them coming to the conference i have about 28 coming to yeah. conference I am yes, just, yes. I, i'm mm -hmm. so excited to see them yes. yeah yes because you had what was it 26 27 i think we had 26 year? last year yeah, yeah. Oh, and she I, brings the an entourage yes, yes. <laughs> i oh, have but some that amazing volume women. though doesn't it amazing yes. women. that they, really they support does. her and really i've does. seen them support you mm -hmm. and, and just the way they care for you and the, even your guests i mean i was just like wow they yeah. just treated me like I was queen. I was like, all right, I like you this. You are queen. Yes, are but queen. I, I wasn't. The, look, there's, there's a, crown. a crown. But sometimes we don't expect our sisters to treat us that way, and that's why we have to do better. Well, you We know, have to do better. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. The one thing, and I, I love about you both, because mm -hmm. I've just, I, I've been thanking God about the, the women of faith he surrounded me with here. Mm -hmm. um, my women in New Generation Christian Center, shout out to them. I just can't say enough how amazing beautiful. these ladies are. Just yeah. beautiful spirits who entrust me with their growth. Yes. And so I'm, I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful that God uses me in that way. But then how God has brought into my life women of purpose and mm. passion and power mm. who uh, it never ceases to amaze me, the transparency and realness and the love, the love that these women have. Um, when Richin and I mm -hmm. first broke bread together before Kept Women of God, it just uh -huh. blew my mind. The one thing this woman wants to do is share her platform. Yes. She said it's room for everybody. Us all. Yeah. It's room for us all to have a seat at the table. That's and good. I was so, because you know, we've all been. Oh, oh yeah, and the thing, and, and I hate to interrupt you because mm -hmm certain things I have experienced in my past mm -hmm. and, and and I tell folks don't let this quiet mm -hmm. spirit fool you yes. mm -hmm. but I've seen so much hurt mm -hmm. to the point where it's too much envy mm -hmm. it's too much you're going to get more of the shine mm -hmm. and I'm like it's room for all, all of, of us, us. Mm -hmm. yeah you know Put your sisters out there so folks can see them, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and realize it ain't about you. And so for me, Kept Woman of God is that place yeah. Yeah. where if no one's going to let me in, I'm going to build my own platform. Yeah. 
and you that's, make room for others. You know, well, that's that's you, what we have to do, do as it. a people anyway. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so it's in our DNA to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And I just think that's so awesome. And that's why we're kept woman of God because he Absolutely. keeps us. Mm -hmm. And he tells us what to do and we do it. Right. And it's always fruitful. But you said something earlier that you didn't, you didn't, you know, think you would have a bestseller or anything like that. But here's the thing, sis. Whenever God tells you to do something, mm -hmm. it's got to blow up. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Absolutely. Yeah. He, he's not a mediocre God. No, nope. He doesn't right. operate he that do way. A smile. He mm -hmm. doesn't do a smile. Mm -hmm. And so if he tells you to write a book, you need to expect. Absolutely. And I have been singing this song in my mind. I'm expecting great things. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting, expecting great, great things. things. Great things, great things, yes. because he is a great God. He is yeah. a great God. And it, it just hit me when you said that about, I said great things, mm -hmm. great Absolutely. things. Mm -hmm. We're ex we got to expect great things. We got to take the limits off of God. When oh, he yeah. tells you to talk to some sister, know it's going to be a fruitful relationship for yes. him. He's not going to tell you to do something that doesn't produce fruit. Right. That's Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Fruit Amen. that remains. Yes. Absolutely. And, and that's what you said, remain. He, Mm -hmm. Fruit right. that remains, and I'm just so excited about what God is doing yeah. in the women. And I'm telling you, I told my son earlier today, I said, Houston, we women, we killing it. We running this whole world. He said, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, in he agreement. Said, he said, yep. Yeah, he better say, yeah. But, you know, we are, we are running the thing, and what I love about it is that we're picking each other up and bringing each yes. other along with us. Absolutely. Let me what grab I, somebody. What I want to mm -hmm. see more of is I want to see more diversity. I mm -hmm. want to see mm -hmm. more, you know, of our Latina sisters and our Mexican sisters and our and our uh, Asian sisters. I want to see more of us doing things together. Right. We got to learn how to get out of our own box right. and get out of our comfort zone yes. and yes. bring those others in because we are all, we all have the same common denominator. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We got the same daddy. Got the same daddy. Absolutely. And we want to promote him. And we want to we want to share him. him. Yes. Oh, yeah. And and when you talk about expectation, mm -hmm. I can honestly say at the Kept One of a God conference, mm -hmm. when you walk in that door, these women walk oh in gosh. with expectations. Expectations. Something big is going to happen mm -hmm. at that yeah. conference. And, and the same thing at the This Means War Prayer Breakfast, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they come with expectation, yeah. right? You know, and so to be able to be used in that capacity, mm -hmm. and, and even with you, Jessica, everything that, that you do, when you and I first connected, mm -hmm. You 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 bringing sisters on board. Yes. You're bringing them. You if God is taking you, if they coming. You mm -hmm. you bringing somebody I mean, else with you. We're sitting at your at, on your. This platform. is the purpose, passion, and yes. power table. Let me tell right. you something real quick. When I was in my twenties, I got my first job um, at Hallmark Cards, and my manager, uh, he was my manager's manager, so mm -hmm. he was like executive, and he said, um, "You have a radio voice." Never, ever in my mind. Both my roommates were journalism majors. Uh -huh. Never in my mind mm -hmm. did I see myself on the radio. Did I see myself on TV? Any of that. Never, like literally never came to my mind. So that was in my 20s. Never thought about it again. Uh -huh. This is my third year in radio. And so my first year, I said, oh, my God, that, that came back to my remembrance. Mm -hmm. I never thought about it since then. Uh -huh. All those years. And so what I'm saying to say is sometimes people can see something in you right. and right. drop a seed. And I don't, I, don't, I don't think that I grew the seed on my own. It mm -hmm. was just a God thing. Mm -hmm. And so whatever gift that he's given you, if you're just willing and obedient, he will multiply it. He will. Right. That's he, right. he will multiply it and, and, and powerhouses will sit before you when you will. God told me, I'm giving you a seat at the table. Right. Mm. So he gave me a seat at the table mm -hmm. so that I can give other women seat at the table. Right. Yes. Amen. And I'm just yeah. excited about that. It, it's just amazing. It's exciting. It is just it really amazing. Is. And so when I say, welcome to Kansas City's Global Community Radio <laughs> Station, <laughs> you're tuned in to Purpose, Passion, and Power with Jessica Lynn. I said, oh, my God, that's what that man was talking about. Yeah. Uh -huh. he, he's probably, I don't even know if he's still alive. He, he was probably in his late 50s, and this was 30 years ago. I don't know, yeah. but. All I can say is when people say, when they give you a compliment, receive it. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Receive absolutely. it. Receive it. I had no idea 30 years later I'd be actually on the radio. Oh, so yeah. God is good. So there is greatness coming forth. Great yes. people are willing and ready to help you with your missions. Mm -hmm. I am one of them. 
Thank you. Um, I want to continue to support both of you, and you will always have my personal support and the support of giving hope and help. So whatever it is that you need, okay. all you got to do yes, is ask thank me. You. All you got to do is ask me. And I'm excited. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been tuned in to Kansas City's global community radio station on KUAW.org. Mm -hmm. Purpose, Passion, and Power is the show that you've been listening to. Purpose, Passion, and Power with Jessica Lynn at the PPP table. Until we meet again, I forgot one thing. <laughs> I got to invite you all. March the 14th. March the 14th is a financial education workshop. Giving Hope and Help's Education is a Passport program has partnered with UMB Bank. Mm -hmm. And they are offering a financial workshop for one hour. Somebody oh, say wow. one hour. One hour. <laughs> it's free parking. It's free refreshments. Mm -hmm. It's free prizes. Everything is free. Nice. Free, free, nice. free for one hour. We want your students age fifth grade up to college and adults, families. We want you there because we need to come out of poverty mindset. Mm -hmm. We need to know what our, what to do with our money. My grandfather passed away and left a heritage for his grandchildren my, on my husband's side. And he said, it's not about what you make. It's about what you do with it. Mm -hmm. And so we need Amen. to teach our children this and change the trajectory of, of the poverty mindset that is on our families. Mm -hmm. And so March the 14th, we have a few seats left. It's free. Contact me at 507-9760. That's 816-507-9760. 816-507-9760 to get your reservation for the March the 14th, 10 to 11, free, free, free financial workshop at UMB Bank at 1010 Grand. Be blessed. Hey everybody, this is Scatter. You might remember me from way back in the Zodiac days. Be sure and check us out. We're going to be here every day from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. It's old school with Scatter. Scatter's back. Check me out on the internet. KUAW.org. For all you for sale Central Manulite people, I want you to remember that in the 60s and the 70s, we had some good music. If you want to hear some of the Temptations, some of Smokey Robinson, some of the Tim Free, things that you don't get every day, DJ Scatter remembers. He's going to have it for you. Bank of Blue Valley is a proud sponsor of KUAW Radio. At Bank of Blue Valley, we believe that an understanding of financial value sets individuals up for a strong future. Whether you want to talk about checking and savings accounts, review lending alternatives, or discuss starting your own business, we have the right people to listen and advise. Visit us at bankbv.com to get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. You are listening to 98.5. This is KUAW, Kansas City, Missouri. Glad you're listening. Keep tuning to the new voice in Kansas City. Hi, my name is Felania Johnson, and I'm a freshman at Pacell Academy of Fine and Performing Arts. My name is Mayan Charity, and I'm a seventh grader at Lincoln College Preparatory. STEM is a program about science, technology, engineering, and math. More girls our age should get more involved in the program because there's a shortage of black girls in STEM. African American women make up just 2% of engineers. Roughly one third of students in, of color express an interest in STEM. Most black women think that STEM is too challenging. We, we are, are sisters, sisters in STEM. In STEM and